Now let's see how we can solve this question. Uh, we have a system of uh, linear equation that has all the three equations are given here. And uh, the question is uh, check that the equations are consistent only if this condition is satisfied that your a plus c has to be 2b and then only these equations are consistent is something we have to prove right now. We will let's begin and start uh, solving this question. The solution begins like this. Now if you observe this, it is of type ax is equal to b. Okay, or this is also called as a non-homogeneous system of equation. The right hand side is non-zero and that's non-homogeneous. Now we can write it in the form of ax is equal to b and that goes like this. A is the coefficient matrix. So all the coefficient will write down. This is going to be 3, 4, 5, the coefficient of the first one. Then this is 4, 5, 6 and the next coefficients are 5, 6, 7. Okay. Once I write down all the coefficients, the variables are x, y, and z. Okay, that is the x over here. And b is the right hand side, and that is going to be a, b, and c. Okay, so once you write it in this form, we will now try to reduce this uh, matrix by, uh, by, by row transformation. So let us perform row transformation. Now, uh, easy transformation to perform over here are I can just like do r2 minus r1 and Let's do R3 minus R1. So if I, if I, R3 minus R2 would be better. So if I subtract R2 minus R1, 3, 4, 5, the first row remains as it is. These X, Y, Z will remain as they are. And this A will remain as it is. So now let's perform the operation R2 minus R1. So this will be 4 minus 3, which is 1. 5 minus 4, that is also 1. 6 minus 5 is also 1. And this will be B minus A. Okay. Now let us do R3 minus R2. If we do R3 minus R2, uh, the row 3 will subtract from row, row 2 will subtract from row 3. It is going to be 5 minus 4, 1. 6 minus 5, 1 again. 7 minus 6, 1. And this will be C minus B. Okay. So once you get it in this form, now we can simplify more. We can do the next operation here. So that would be we can clearly do R3 minus R2 so that the last row will become zero. This is three, four, five, one, one, one. And then this is one. This will become zero, 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 right? When we do R3 minus R2. And this is X, Y, Z. And the right hand side will be A, B minus A. And this will become C minus B minus A. This will be C minus B minus b plus a right there is a minus sign in between fair enough so once you get it like this now this right now over here is the row echelon form okay so i got this as row echelon form and from the row echelon form uh, we can write down a right now here the a value is three four five is a reduced version of matrix a the original matrix A is over here. It is 1, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 0. Right? And let us write A colon B. Now these are the augmented matrix. Let's A club A and B together. It is 3, 4, 5. This is 1, 1, 1. And this is 0, 0, 0. And then B has all these values. This is A. The next value is B minus A. And the next value is this will become A plus C minus 2B. A plus C minus 2B. I've just read, rewritten these numbers, these values over here. Now, once you write like that, now for A, it is very clear that rank of A is 2. I hope you remember rank is number of non-zero rows. The first row is non-zero and the second row is non-zero. So A has two non-zero rows. Therefore, rank of A is 2. Okay. Once I get that, next let us write down the rank of A colon B. The rank of A colon B will be now, this is the A colon B matrix. Now, the rank of A colon B will be 3 if A plus C minus 2B is not 0. If this value here, the last value here, is not 0. Look, this, this first row is not 0 anyways. Second row is also not 0. The third row will become not 0 if this is not 0. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So, it all depends on only on this value. And what will be rank of A colon B? Uh, if we have a plus c minus 2b is equal to 0. Now, if this value is 0, 
then this will have only two non zero rows so rank of a colon b will be 2 right so the condition for consistency condition for consistent system of equation i hope you remember the condition the condition is rank of a should be equal to rank of a colon b okay so as per this if we want these two to be equal okay therefore uh, we get the condition as a plus c minus 2b is 0 right therefore a plus b a plus c is equal to 2b now that's the final answer and you can say hence verified hence verified